All right, what's up you guys? This video is for those of you who are struggling to lose weight for the first time. And I wanna go ahead and give you some pointers and some tips that I've rediscovered as I'm trying to lose weight. And I actually, I failed to lose weight for the first couple months this year. And I wanna talk about what's changed for me and why now weight loss is kind of starting and I'm seeing weight loss every week. And if you're a beginner, I think this is very important. This is what's worked for me, so hopefully it helps you guys out. I'm not trying to say this is, this, this is the most important thing you have to do if you wanna lose weight, but I think it's important. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm here in this uh, Google Sheets spreadsheet, and I wanna show you guys some, some data of, of my personal weight loss journey this month. So just to show you how this is all set up, on this column, there's all the date range from February all the way to right now, basically July, right? This is my weight loss progress. So I told myself, hey, I'm starting in Febu on February 1st, I'm getting serious about it. And the reality was, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't take it serious. And it wasn't until like the end of April, beginning of May that I started to take things actually serious. And so as you can see in the beginning, February, all the way to around May, you can see a lot of gaps. So each of these blue bars represent my daily weigh-in, okay? So on February 1st, 215.5 pounds. Also, you guys, check out my physique update video that I made. I talk about this a lot and all obviously like my whole, my whole journey. So check that out on my channel. As you can see, each bar represents a daily weigh-in. And as you can see, there are a lot of empty rows here. And what that means is I just didn't weigh myself that day. I wasn't tracking the data in the first couple of months. And that you can see that on the graph that for the first month when weight loss is usually the easiest, I wasn't losing weight. I was 215, 214, really stagnant for, for all of February at 213. Just hovering around the 213 mark still in April, I was still around 213. And then there was a gap where I just didn't even weigh myself for like a week straight. Compare that to the next couple of months where there are very little gaps. There wasn't really a day where I didn't miss anything. And the rate of weight loss was a lot faster in these months versus these months where I wasn't tracking anything, right? And I wanna show you that difference here. So at the end of May, I started Mario Tomic, um, his coaching program. He's a fitness YouTuber. First of all, I am not an affiliate. I don't have a link for you guys to go sign up or anything. I'm just talking about my results. Please don't click away. I'm not trying to sell you anything. Um, just wanna show you that the difference is, is we track everything in this coaching program. We track my weight, my step count, and a whole bunch of other things. But what I wanna really talk about is the weight and the step count. So for the weight, what we do is every week, right, we take the weekly average of the weigh-ins. So as you can see, the weekly average column in blue, uh, for week one, the weekly average of all my daily weigh-ins were 205.8 pounds. For week two, it was 204, 203, 202, 201, and so on. And so why do we do this? So you can see this in the graph here. Every day, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna go down forever. Right, there's gonna be fluctuation. So as you can see, for this, it was going up and then down, then back up again, then down, back up again, and then down, back up again, then down, up and down, as you can see. Now, the reason why we do this and track daily weigh-ins is because there's something called daily fluctuations. This can be caused because of, depending on your salt intake for the day, if you ate like later in the day rather than earlier in the day, if you ate one big meal at night and that can carry over to the next day, there's a bunch of reasons why your weight will change. And the only way to see this is if, is if you actually track these things. As a beginner, I think this is super important to visually kind of see these things because you wanna be able to make better decisions as weight loss goes on and as you, when you inv inevitably hit a plateau, right? Let's say in week two, I was losing a lot of weight and I can see that I was taking a lot of steps. But in week 10, for example, weight loss plateaued and you can see that, oh, I'm only walking like 3,000 steps a day. Whereas in week two and week three, when weight loss was going good, I was walking like 7,000 to 10,000 steps a day. Maybe all I need to do is just increase my step count and then my weight loss will go down again, right? Those are things that you wanna see as a beginner when you're first starting to try to lose weight. 
That's very important, I think, in my opinion. It's a lot more valuable to see this data, and that's the point of this video, you guys. I just wanna make sure that you guys are at least tracking things. Obviously, you should be tracking your calories and macros, but I think tracking your weight and your step count, these are things that a lot of people don't talk about, and it's very important, I think, and it's helped me a lot uh, rediscover how important these things are and why I'm making this video to help you guys out. Um, I've been seeing a lot of more progress in my personal weight loss journey, you know, as a fitness influencer, YouTuber, whatever I should, I'm not, I'm not perfect. Right. So rediscovering this has made me want to make this video. So I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you want to learn how to make a spreadsheet like this, I can send you one over. I can send you a copy of this. Um, just subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.